Hello everyone, my name is Guy Level, and today we're going to be checking out the Strimplify camera. Strimplify sent me a bunch of stuff to test before we can potentially collaborate, and I gotta say that the webcam is the thing that I'm the most skeptical about. It's really, really hard to actually make a webcam that is decent, that is under the 60, under the 70, under the 100 dollar price mark. The whole thing with Strimplify is that they're trying to make live streaming gear and stuff like that more affordable, therefore more accessible. But anyways, let's jump right into it and let's unbox this thing. Alright, I got my little box cutter. I like like the packaging it's pretty nice right here it says comes with a try includes tripod i'm not exactly sure what that means is that what they're calling the the tripod like the screen mount i hope not hopefully there's an actual tripod with three little legs in there all right so i'm opening it right in front of your very eyes for the first time and then we're gonna test it together oops Sorry, there you go, includes tripod, designed in Germany as they say a lot. So it's a 1080p 60fps, a CMOS sensor, 2 megapixel, okay. YUV2 and MJPEG, of course, all the for all the formats in 60fps. Uh, focus distance is 70 millimeters uh, to infinity. Okay, focus type is autofocus, very impressive. And uh, yeah, let's just test it. It doesn't matter what it says. The only thing that matters is what it looks like. Again, very skeptical with this one, but I don't wanna, you know, downplay it too much i don't want to be like oh this is probably gonna be terrible or anything like that i just want to test it uh packaging is pretty nice <laughs> packaging is pretty nice so here's the webcam here it has the little uh mount here so i'm guessing there's an actual tripod that comes with it so they did not lie and there there's the quick guide which we're probably not gonna read because intuitivity intuitive it has to be intuitive right okay let's open up the little tripod first before we take a look at it let's slide that here and it's a nice tripod actually okay the grip feels pretty nice oh it's kind of not super sturdy looks like metal but very 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 light metal okay they did not lie uh, is it extendable no it's not it just has this one knob okay not bad uh i don't think logitech sends you a, a tripod with their camera so here we have the camera let's go ahead and ooh, and this is what it looks like the look is definitely particular i'll tell you that right now this seems to be very like it's almost heavy duty what the heck why is this so <laughs> this part is so thick for no reason uh, but i like it probably will fit on top of a tv if you have to so i'm not sure if i understand like the little screw part here but oh it does this okay that's nice what's with this design though i don't get it maybe that's the microphone Anyways, let's go ahead and plug it in. So we have USB here. Boom, boom, boom. No additional information. There is a little bit of plastic at the bottom here. If you guys really want to, I can go ahead and give you that little ASMR. There we go. I'm gonna place it on my screen. When it comes to lighting, I have one light that is bouncing off the wall, giving you very soft light, as you can see here. And then behind me, there's gonna be a projector that is towards the room. And then of course I have the backlight, but that's that's the only thing. I do have one strip light here, but it's like so faint that I don't think it's gonna matter. But uh, let's go ahead and let's check out the, the cable length because that is pretty important. Okay, that's nice. I like that. I don't like electronics that come with like a short cable. And then if you have a particular setup, it's going to be super annoying. I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it, this is actually a C920. I'm actually going to put the webcam as close as possible to this side. Let's probably check. <laughs> I'm doing everything out of order, but let's check the rotation. Oh, that's nice. So it up, down, and of course, uh, is that 360? It is a full 360 on top of being able to tilt it up, down, left, right at an angle and everything. So this is going to make our lives really, really, really easy, I believe, in order to just point it kind of at me like that. Let's plug it in. Uh, we're setting up Streamplify Cam. My Windows says, let's wait for another notification. There we go. Okay, that took like uh, 30 seconds, maybe less. Streamplify Cam is ready, ready to go. So I'm in OBS right now. I'm just gonna add a new video capture device, call it Streamplify S Cam, and then we're gonna pick it. Streamplify Camera. 
Okay, so we're getting the default uh, type of view like this, and it reminds me a lot. Actually, the, the colors are managed pretty decently, knowing how extreme this my, my video projector is. OBS has a tendency, or every webcam has a tendency to be in that format when you first load it in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and set up the custom resolution to 1080p. Nice, and let's see, match output FPS. Okay, let's just put 60 FPS. Okay, pretty smooth. And then of course I have access to the basic, very basic uh, configure video stuff straight into OBS. So I'm guessing it's probably not gonna save the settings. It's like everything else. So far, so good. This is pretty decent, a little sharp. You can see there's like, it doesn't feel really, really sharp, but if you have that kind of soft light, this is pretty good. Let me see if the autofocus actually works. It does a little slow, but it actually does work. That is decent. That is uh, pretty decent if you have proper light. Right now I have um, auto exposure on. So if I do this, gonna go dark. And if I go with something bright, wait, no, if I, <laughs> if I go with something dark, it should try to calibrate the exposure and be super bright and boom and i completely messed up my white balance so now the white balance is like more off to a blue it's probably trying to calibrate uh, with the purple let's do this and we're back this is why you want to turn off white balance right automatic white balance you want that off that way you set it up and it's not gonna move there we go i would probably go with something like this this is really not as bad as i thought it would be not gonna lie, I'm kind of impressed. Um, the 60 FPS seems to be working really nicely. All right, there's it's not it's not jittering, not the smoothest that, that I've ever seen, but uh, no jitter. So that's pretty decent. We have the the contrast and the details are you know not bad, <laughs> not bad. Impressive for for that type of camera, that is uh, for sure. Now, if you don't own a webcam at all, I you know I see this camera as a main camera. If you as long as you actually invest in in uh, decent lighting, let me turn off my lighting here to show you like I guess normal condition. Normal condition would be you with like an overhead light, which I I don't have at all. Turn off my projector, boom and. Yeah, I only have that one light strip giving me light and it handles it pretty well. We do get a little bit of noise in here. This is where we're getting into low light. Alexa, turn off ring light. Okay. And now we're in low, low light conditions. Right now, only my screen is actually lighting my face up. So honestly, like this is this is pretty good. This is really, really, really not bad. Uh, it is a very, very decent camera. So Strimplify, thumbs up on that. If I switch to my normal uh, mirrorless $800 camera, let's see what the difference will be. See, of course, this is smoother. Uh, the colors are managed a little bit better and stuff like that. But here with the auto exposure, I can't say that this is bad. This is definitely like one of the better looking webcams I've seen actually. So this was an unboxing and a review of the Strimplify cam. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you wanna see more about the Strimplify products, just check out the channel. There's gonna be more coming out or if it already came out, I don't know which order I'm gonna put those videos out. Okay, so just check out the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, check out my main channel if you want an overall coverage of everything Strimplify. Uh, but that's it, bye-bye.